Hey guys, this is Mike from El Dorado Guitars, and I am here today with the new Bogner Uber Ultra. This is just a first look, it's not a full review. I have not even turned the amp on. Um, I just thought it would be cool to record my first impressions for you guys in a short video. Um, I have not changed any of the uh, settings that came from the factory, so literally I've done nothing to it. I've taken it out of the box, I put it here, <laughs> and I turned it on. That's it. So um, I've not actually turned it on, turned it on, but I turned the power on, right? So I just thought it would be cool to get like first impressions, first thoughts um, as I turn on the standby um, for the first time or turn off the standby, I guess, for the first time. So let's um, check it out. I've got my Tom Anderson here with me today. This is a, a drop top with an H3 and an H1. And um, let's uh, see what the story is. <laughs> unexpected <laughs> I do not know what the hell that was okay we're gonna go ahead and try that again Woo. okay something is very not cool all right hang tight all right I'm gonna bring the gain way down I'm gonna bring both masters way down <clears throat> I'm gonna bring the gain level down <laughs> And let's, uh, let's see what it does with some of the, like, the gain levels a little bit lower here. Okay, so, wow. All right, that was a journey. I'm going to turn the gain down. Uh, let's see what happens now. Okay, here goes. Okay. just set so high it was on um ultra mode and the gain was all the way at eight o'clock or no at eight so at like what would that be like three o'clock so i think it was just so much gain coming through the uh coming through this the cabinet it wow i mean that was insane okay <laughs> crunch mode. I turned it all the way down because I got blown out. All right, I'm going to raise the master volume up a little bit here. Classic rock sound. I was very skeptical of the crunch mode, to tell you the truth, but it actually sounds pretty good. It's a little dark, but I mean, it, you know, again, these are the settings that were from the factory. Like I haven't touched it. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to bright mode from focus mode. Let's see what that does. ish a little bit I mean it doesn't have that raspiness that a plexi has but it's a good classic rock tone I'm actually surprised because like I said typically when you get like the really high gain amps when you run them in like low mode or something they don't usually sound that great so I'm actually kind of surprised that this sounds as good as it does <laughs> station i have run into this once before um, with the karsten's grace super 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 high gain amps don't play very well with the power station um, i'm not sure why they play better with the waza 
I think it's just like tube feedback or something. I'm not sure, but I have experienced this before with like ultra, ultra high gain amps. <laughs> out the gain on crunch mode just to show you how much it has I'm on bright fat and crunch and I'll turn the gain up all the way just so we can see like how much we can get out of it <laughs> JJ tubes in this, I'll be honest, I hate JJ preamp tubes. I absolutely hate them. They sound really farty to me and they uh, I get more noise issues like that squeal with JJ tubes. So I'll probably swap the preamp tubes out for um, Chinese 12AX7Bs, which is what I normally use. The Ruby 12AX7B HG Plus um, is usually what I use, especially for V1, V2. Um, but anyways, um, let's go ahead and switch over to the next mode, which would be, I'm not sure if it's Uber or Ultra. I think Uber is the next mode. So I'm gonna turn the gain down a lot. It's in Uber mode now. You can hear the noise floor has come up a lot. There's a lot of hiss. <laughs> picks up where the crunch mode leaves off is what I would say because the gain is very low now it's at uh, nine o'clock and it sounds very similar to how it sounded with the gain dimed on the other mode <laughs> I'll switch to focus mode. Let's see what that sounds like. Definitely prefer that mode um, for, for this channel anyways. The bright mode is cool, but it was really, really, really piercing. Um, so that sounds better. And then here's doom mode. Smashing pumpkins or something. You know what I mean? It's actually like a little bit fuzzy. <laughs> Sounds 
something like I said, a lot like Siamese Dream or something, which is pretty cool. I dig it. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to focus mode, and I'm going to change it from fat to tight, and let's see what that does. <laughs> switch over now, last thing we'll do um, is I'm going to switch it over to the um, ultra mode. So let's hear the ultra mode. So this was our uber mode with the gain at half. <laughs> skeleton key I had on the high input it's like so much gain it's almost like unusable or like a 5150 on the third channel or whatever it's like almost unusable I kind of feel that way about uber mode it's it's almost unusable and that's without a boost there's a built-in boost and that's without the boost so I think I honestly think ultra mode is my least favorite mode just because it, it's almost completely unusable it's so much gain I think in uber mode it sounds really good I think Uber mode is cool.
the presence depth and density. The density, I think, is a negative feedback, is what it sounds like, but I'm not sure. Um, the presence, I like more on the hair mode, actually. I think that the traditional Uber mode is a little dark. Um, probably sound better like at really loud stage volumes. Um, I up the depth a little bit. The amp is a little, it's a little bit of a bright kind of sound. switch over really quickly and just end with the clean channel, like channel two. So let's just look at channel two. This is the clean. Sounds great, you know. check out the crunch and uber on this channel real quick so here's the crunch <laughs> channel on the left is is very bright it's way brighter than the channel on the right <laughs> treble right now at like 10 o'clock so it is not up very high <laughs> So here's crunch mode. Here's uber mode. Much uh, lower volume and it's darker, which is interesting. Um, very interesting. We're still getting a lot of microphonic squeal from this thing, like ooh, a lot of feedback. <laughs> Interesting. Um, well, my first impressions are um, my first impressions are 
It sounds kind of like if you asked me, to, I mean, you just heard it, but if you asked me to describe it in the room, I would kind of say like it sounds like a type of rectifier, just different. Like it sounds like a, kind of a different type of, of rectifier, um, like almost like a rectifier and a Marshall or something mixed together. Um, I would almost say like a Cameron or something, but it doesn't have the feel of a Cameron. Like the feel is different. It's totally different. Um, like the response is totally different. Um, I got to be honest, my first impressions are kind of like, eh? like I, I don't hate it, but I'm just sort of like, eh? um, I, I maybe I need, you know, I need more time to play around with it. Right. I mean, it, but it, to me does not strike me as one of those amps that you plug into and go like, oh my God. Right. Um, but there are plenty of amps here that are like that, right? Like a 2C+, plus, right? Like when you first plug into it, it's very confusing, right? But it's an awesome amp. So it could be awesome, um, but it's definitely not like, it doesn't feel like a plug-and-play to me like a Plexi or something is, right? Um, it's a very kind of strange amp. Um, I feel like channel, the left channel is very different from the right channel, totally different. Especially the clean and the crunch modes on the left channel are far different from the ultra channel on the left mode. And then the right mode has so much gain. It's like I said, I mean, I'm sorry, but like it's almost unusable. Um, ultra mode is like, frankly, like almost totally unusable. Uh, so just so much gain. I mean, it feeds back and just squeals and is just like, whoo. Um, I might try it without the power station and just see how that goes. That might improve it. Like I said, I have had that happen before with like super high gain amps. So that, that could be a thing. Um, so I will definitely check that out. Um, but I, I do think it's cool and I do want to play around with it more and test it with some other guitars, right? And see how maybe this is a pretty high output guitar. Uh, maybe it will respond better to a lower output guitar or a non strat style, like a darker guitar. This guitar is actually fairly bright. Um, so it might, might respond better to a, a darker guitar. Um, but my initial feeling on it is, um, I like it, like it's cool but I don't know if it's for me. I think that's my initial impression. I do like it, it is cool, I'm gonna play around with it more, but I don't know if it's really for me because it's just so much gain. It reminds me a lot of um, the Monomous Skeleton Key. It reminds me a lot of that. I'm not saying it's the same amp or anything like that, but it reminds me a lot of it. Insofar as like, I liked that amp and I thought it was very cool, it's brutal, but it just wasn't for me, right? It was too much gain, like way, way, way too much gain for, for me, right? Like I'm like a hard rock player, right? Like, um, you know, Alice in Chains, Tool, A Perfect Circle, Smashing Pumpkins kind of stuff. And the skeleton, skeleton Key was just too much amp for that kind of music. And I kind of feel like this amp might fall into the same category where it's just too much amp for, for that kind of, that kind of um, music. I don't know. Um, it, it definitely feels like a metal amp right? Like this is a metal amp. And that's what I said about the um, skeleton key at the time. I said like, it just feels very much like a metal, metal amp, like real metal, not like Metallica metal. I mean like arch enemy metal, right? And that's what this amp feels like. It feels like it's, it's beyond like Alice in Chains and stuff. This is like real metal, right? Like, so if you're, I would say if you're a real metal player, if you're a down tuner, um, if you just can't find an amp that you feel like has enough gain for whatever you're doing, then this might fit the bill. But um, full review to come. Just wanted to give some first impressions the first time I turned it on and um, check it out. So there we go. Thanks, guys. Again, this is Mike from El Dorado Guitars. Uh, like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thank you.